Hey there and welcome back to the video series about how you create charts in JavaFX. And we did almost all the work here. We created the bar chart and the pie chart. And also some code to demonstrate how we can modify the data. And in this video I will tell you how you can create a context menu to uh, display in the pie chart if we wanted to switch between the pie and the bar chart. So how do we do that? Well, we probably need to have a context menu and it's right down here javafx scene control give it a name make an object we're gonna need a menu item and switch to bar charge good name for that new menu item And then we are gonna add it to our context menu. So we're gonna add the menu item to our context menu. So this section is create the context menu and the new item. So next thing is to actually display context menu when we click on it or when we right click on our mouse and we need the pie chart for that because we need to add an event handler and what type of event handler should that be that should be a mouse event and when we do this uh, NetBeans is gonna suggest a whole bunch of options to us and it's gonna be the one called mouse clicked because we want to check if the user actually clicked on the mouse. And we will check later on in the code if it is the left or right mouse button. And we're going to do this using an inner class, an anonymous inner class. So we're doing new event handler. And what type should it be? It should be a mouse event. All right, and we seem to have an error here. Oh, do, 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 mismatch. Okay, I think it's something with the imports here because AVT event. Okay, so that if you have AVT event here, uh, that is an, it is a mouse event, but it is the wrong mouse event. So we remove that and we go back to our pie chart here because then it will suggest that we should import the, uh, the scene input mouse event because AVT is is an older uh, GUI toolkit for Java and we're using JavaFX. You can see it's a, it also says it here, JavaFX scene input. This is just Java AVT. Okay, so we select uh, this one and then we need to implement this. Uh, this inner class will expect us to implement uh, an abstract method called handle that is the actual uh, event handler. So we need to, we can actually get NetBeans to do this for us, I think. Implement all abstract methods. So uh, NetBeans is gonna create this, this uh, template code for us. And we're just gonna remove this code there. Okay, so we have public void handle mouse event, and this overrides uh, the, uh, the method inside of the event handler. All right. So what should we do inside of this event handler? Well, we should check where the user clicked with the mouse and then display the context menu uh, at the X and Y positions so that when you right click, it will actually show the context menu where you click. First, we should check if uh, we're clicking with the right mouse button because if we're doing it with the left, uh, we should not display it. So first we check for what button it is, and we have a handy method called event get button. And we have a small handy little enumeration here that will enable us to check for the primary or secondary or the middle. So we're doing the secondary that is usually mapped to the right mouth button. And then we do something here. So we do context menu, we tell it to show but where should it show? Yeah, we're gonna show in this UI element in the pie chart. 
and then we need the coordinates for x and y and we do this with get screen x and then get whoop y and we seem to have an error what is wrong oh we're using the class we should use the yeah maybe this is a little we could probably improve on the naming there but um, okay so let's first check if this is working so we fire up the pie chart and if I right click boop something is wrong here oh we have an error boop get not get seen get screen get screen X get screen Y okay Okay, so we go to pie chart, and yeah, we can see that it will actually load. Mm -hmm. So that's good. It has tracked the coordinates, but we need the actual name for this because we haven't, yeah, we haven't provided any name for the menu item. So we're gonna say switch to bar chart. So our menu item has a title. Boop. Yep, so now we get there. But it's not doing anything at the moment. Okay, so how do we make it actually work with this event handler here? Because we we have displayed the context menu and you can click on it, but now we need to actually make this menu item do something. So we will use set on action and this is also gonna take an event handler. And that's going to be an action event. Oop. Oop. And we can see here we get an error because we have already created the uh, the type here. Let's see, this isn't the correct one. Yep. Yeah, so we call it. Whoop, action event. Okay, so what should we, what should it do? Well, it should basically load the border pane and I think we have the code present here. Yeah, build bar chart and set it to center. So we take this line of code, put that into our simple event handler. Okay, so border pane, set center, build by uh, bar chart. All right, so let's see how this works. If we run the program, we get the bar chart. If we launch the pie chart, we can right click, switch to bar chart. So it is working, we can modify, switch to the bar chart again. We could also do this for the bar chart, but we don't have any context menu there. All right, so uh, it's doing that there and we're actually it is working but we're actually doing the uh, the pie chart again over here yeah I think it would be good practice because we we uh, moved all the code uh, to its own method and then we call the the method up here build bar chart uh, and I think to keep this consistent we should Take the code right here, and then we should probably do a new method here private pie chart. Put the code in there, and it wants to have a return statement pie chart. All right, yeah, so, and then we can instruct our, no, oh. let's provide some documentation. Because then in our Whoa, this is going crazy, this scrolling here. All right, so handle show pie chart. We will 
reuse this one here. But we will do this build pie chart. So if we collapse all this, we can see we got build bar chart, build pie chart, and we have the functions, the event handlers that will actually call the particular methods there. I think this is uh, enough about this video. It pretty much concludes what I wanted to demonstrate here. And I really hope you make this work. Uh, have fun with this. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.